Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Jaco here. Going to talk a little bit about using something called PictoChart to create badges or even logos that you'd like to do for your class. Um, you can get it in the Google App Store or I believe you can use it just as a web-based tool at PictoChart.com. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and click on it real quick and just try and give a little tutorial on it. Now there's all sorts of PictoChart graphics you can use. So if I'm going to create a new one, you can see you can make a presentation, a poster, or even a report. And these are really cool tools to use. Um, but for today, I'm just going to focus on creating just a blank poster for logos. Okay, so as I highlight my image and as it's loading up, I'm going to take away a lot of these so that way we start really from a blank canvas. Okay, so now as I go back to the top, when you're creating a logo, the first thing that you want to do is put a shape down as like your background shape. I'm a huge fan of the square um, and the circle. Triangles are cool too, uh, but I haven't really figured out how I want to manipulate that to really make a badge. But uh, today, let's start with just one. Uh, we'll make this logo nice and big so you can see it. Once I have my shape and I, the perfect size that I want, I can alter the color of that background image. And let's go with purple. Okay. After I have the shape and size that I want to use, the icon tab is really cool. They have a lot of different things to choose from. Um, and here it's in a category for general. So you can just see, um, you know, the general images and things and such that they have. So you could really use this for anything. Um, but as I scroll through or even go to the other categories, you know, I'll let you look. There's people politics, lifestyle, household. Um, and I, I will search through all of them. Sometimes I'm looking for something specific. But if we're just focusing on education, really, um, it's a great thing to use for any subject matter uh, or any content. You know, if I look, this um, palette is great if you're doing arts integration. But let's go with, let's see, what can I focus on? How about, building blocks for ABCs. Okay, and as you move the image, it's great. I love that it has the feature where it kind of, <clears throat> it makes it align perfectly in the middle. So you can really create these even, nice lines. If that's the image that you want, pull that up. And now let's say you want to add a text to really display what type of logo or badge that this is. Once you click on text, you can click the different types. If I just want a subtitle, it will come up and I can now move that where I want it to go. However, if you want it to get a little bit fancier, what you could do is pull this over and now this, it kind of looks like a hanger. So let's say you have something that you'd like, but you don't want this going through. You can arrange this image and send it to the back. And now once I have it to the back, I can even it and let's see if I can get it nice like that. Perfect. Okay, so now that I have my badge, I can call this um, the literacy badge. And there you have your first logo that you've created. You can preview it, you can download it to your computer, or you can even share it. Um, always save it, okay, learn that the hard way. But um, 
even if you're doing a professional development, it's nice that you can share this in a document where people can download it as if, okay, they reached this milestone, now they can download this badge. And that's something that uh, I really learned from the Phys Ed Summit and the group, uh, the Phys Ed Agogi group did a really nice job with that. So uh, moving forward in the future, this is something that I'll definitely use for my classes. All right, so I'm at, I can see that I'm about five and a half minutes, which is a little too long, but this is a nice brief tutorial on getting started uh, with creating your logos and your badges. So thanks for watching.